and we're now into day 16 about one hour uh, past the day change <clears throat> the attack on Kazakhstan is ridiculously simple uh, I will take more provinces soon he has no defense it's only these 15 guys but they look at those hit points it's it's really nothing to worry about but of course I want to have these two artilleries to shoot a little bit at him before I take him down otherwise I don't think it's anything left it's empty empty one two three he sent all he had at me but they died like flies as I said and uh, it's uh, Probably I'm going to take him while well, it's distances, so maybe I don't have time to do it before the next day change, but maybe actually I can. We'll see. At least I will take the the capital for sure in seven, eight hours or something. Yeah, I think I actually can take all of his country within the end of this day. It's 23 hours to go. Yeah, I can do it. I will do it. So no worries there. And I told Cameroon, did I tell you that? I'm not sure. I made a deal with Cameroon that he should invade uh, Madras. So I don't, so we get rid of his uh, big army. And I don't know why he's just sending me around. It's totally empty, so he can just take it easy. And Madras is also AI country, so it would be easy for him. And I want him to be occupied with that. Uh, this uh, Pakistan got inactive again, and now they are fighting each other. So it's that's good news for Cameroon. I will also probably take a few provinces here. Uh, I was supposed to meet Cameroon somewhere in the middle. So we'll see how long I will that will take. But first, of course, he has to land his troops. So, really no worries there either, but there is another worry. Let's have a look at this guy again, Sweden. He's really, really pushing his gold marks now. Uh, all of a sudden it's two bombers, and they already attacked Libya. No, they haven't. They, uh, okay, they have 10 minutes left to attack Libya. And here is a railgun. Uh, both the bombers and the railguns are not by far, but they are earlier than possible. Probably, I think I calculate to 10 hours early or something like that. So he's pushing gold marks. I, um, I think it's only defensive against me and I have no plans to attack him anyway, but I need to address this for sure. I am building a bomber of my own here is one hour one day and 20 hours left i could have started a little bit earlier if i did everything right but i didn't prioritize it really uh i also started to build a fighter here with the airport uh so i will i am building planes i need to build more planes and i build, need to build fighters i think to defend against his bombers and also to defend my my area here fighters are defensive uh, anti-aircraft so it's defense against bombers while bombers are off offensive weapons uh, and i need to build one more or a couple of more airports to be able to reach there for sure i'm going to build one in sarajevo uh, after this level two is done first i can build uh, airplanes there and also i can land them there uh, if i build them somewhere else i'm not going to rush this and i'm going to build one airport in the middle somewhere where i also can choose to build either constantinople izmir or ankara and i haven't decided that yet because i want this fighter to be done first so I can see for myself how far it reaches. Uh, it will for sure be able to go from Badr Hunway to Baghdad. That will reach. And I think it can reach from Baghdad to Constantinople. But I'm not sure. Maybe it's too far. Uh, so I want to see uh, 
at first the the range of the fighter uh, to be able to determine where to build airport so it's gonna take a little bit another day or so let's see what was this fighter about one day one day two hours so tomorrow then same day i will start building i have this done and i can see how far it can fly and then i will build a few more airports in between so it's going to be a couple of days without defense uh from sweden but he's not going to attack me now i'm sure of that and i have a few balloons which are defensive against uh against airports against uh, bombers uh i told you about this earlier and building one more here balloons i will keep on building balloons here for defense and uh, but i have to address this feeling guy sooner or later <laughs> If he keeps pumping uh, gold marks like this, it's, it's going to be a problem in the end, for sure. By the way, he did some rookie mistakes again. He didn't protect his uh, promises he took. So three of them got rebelled and joined Ireland, which is fun. Which means he has to take it back and then he will end up at war with Ireland. Probably he planned to invade Ireland anyway, but... At least I know it's going to be occupied with that for a couple of days, so I don't have to rush to the front with my weapons, but I need to take it in my long-term planning. Defense against Sweden and outbuild him. And this railway, this railgun is going to be a problem. For sure, it's going to cost me a lot of men when I, if I go to attack against Sweden. Maybe we can stay friends. We will just have to wait and see how things evolve. So, good news in the east, bad news in the west. And I'll tell you more when more things happen. And you'll see next report in a couple of hours or something like that.